everybody, welcome back. This is Megan Zima from MTD CNC, and we're doing a special school edition here in Beloit, Wisconsin at Beloit Memorial High School, my old stomping grounds where I graduated back in the early 2000s. Today I'm speaking with Joe, who is the welding instructor. Hello, Joe, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So can you give us some background history? Like how long have you been teaching here at Beloit Memorial High School? And sort of what is your experience? I came here, uh, this is my second year now. Okay. Um, prior to this, I was teaching at a college. Um, I've been in teaching now for probably about six years I transitioned. Okay. Um, but for 20 years, um, I, and still even today, uh, I, I am a, a welder. Uh, okay. I, so I have 56,000 hours uh, logged right now as a welder in the field. So you are you came from industry. Yes. What yes. was your background in industry? Uh, so in industry, um, Basically, um, I did a lot of uh, like pipe welding, things okay. like that. Um, I went through the Navy's program as a civilian to become um, nuclear certified and then just a, a regular naval welder. Um, so I, I spent a lot of time doing that. Wow. Uh, military welding, I was a littoral combat ship, submarine. Um, so that got me a lot of experience as far as really high tech standards in welding. Yeah. But, um, I would do job shop mostly, um, okay. and that got me some like press break or say like um, laser experience, understanding okay. kind of how those machines worked, um, and then um, doing just general layout um, over the years. Um, I was fortunate because I had that skill set so I could kind of move around. Mm -hmm. If something uh, got slow, I could still keep going. Right. So you said you were at a community college teaching there for a good bit? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what inspired you to make the switch from that teaching environment to high school? Um, you know, I think with the voids that we have in the high schools, mm -hmm. as far as, um, you know, people maybe don't want to teach it. I, I've seen a lot more vacancies when it comes to this. Right. Um, and the trades programs, um, I thought, well, this could be a really good opportunity to help transition the students from mm -hmm. this K-12 program into a college or into the workforce. Okay, so this is your second year at Belay Memorial. Yes. Yes. What do you love about this school? Uh, I, I love um, the students, the variety of students mm -hmm. I have, whether it be, um, I have um, you know, male, female students, I have all different age groups. Mm -hmm. That variety is fantastic to work with. Um, and then um, I think in general, just uh, here, my principals, Mrs. Pels, Mrs. Thompson, mm -hmm. they are fantastic people. Um, they've been so supportive of this and our program here. It's mm -hmm. been awesome to work with them. Uh, you have Mrs. Prouse, who's really that voice behind us all. And then you have Mr. Stenroos, mm -hmm. who um, is the director of CTE. Um, those are great people to have in your in your corner uh, any day of the week. So what sort of advantages are given to the students by having someone like yourself who comes directly from industry to teach them versus someone who's not directly from industry? Sure, that, that's actually a really good question. Um, that, I think there's an aspect of um, experience as far as, you know, um, I can relate real world stories to them okay. and get them to understand this situation. Um, not always is the case when you're looking at a textbook. Mm -hmm. So I think being able to relate what they're reading or understanding uh, now, and then we go out and do it and I can explain to them where they're gonna use it, the field or where I've used it, really helps them understand that. Plus I gear up and go with them. Um, that's always kind of a shock to the students. So <laughs> that's kind of funny to watch them um, ask, like you're coming in here? And I say, yeah. And I put on my helmet and they realize that it's not so bad, I right. guess. Um, so that's that's been kind of a fun aspect too, um, especially for the ones that just enter into welding. Mm -hmm. The ones that have been in, they're used to it and they kind of reach to me now for help. But you know, uh, it's cool to see it. It's I think fun. it establishes a level of trust and credibility yes. too with yeah, them. Yeah, very much so, yes. And th that's yeah. important for this generation, I believe, because they're yes. they're really quick to call us out on our BS if we, they are. we <laughs> try to do that to them. So uh, one yeah. of the other things that you're working on is uh, the Skills USA yes. uh, competition. So yes. can you provide us a little bit more detail about sure. that? How is that 
process going? Um, it's good, it, and it definitely is a process. So we are um, using Skills USA here as an SLO or a student-led organization. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, I started this last year, got the students together, had to identify the groups that okay. they're going to be in, um, or the chapter portions of that. Um, and then uh, from there, you kind of have to build up your program. Mm -hmm. You have to identify like who's going to be in it, who's an officer, um, what competitions are we going to, when right. do we practice. So that's been the challenge so far. But it's, it's been a lot of fun getting them involved. We're about 35 students now in the program total. Okay. Um, and when we go um, to competitions, it could be anywhere from 35 to just three or four. So okay. it's a big variety. Why was, it, why was it important for you to sign them up for that type of competition? Um, I think the biggest thing for them is to teach them the responsibility of the competitions, okay. the leadership aspect, um, just what it's going to be like in industry for them. Mm -hmm. It gives them a real experience to that, plus the interviewing and all that. If you had one ask for like your local community leaders or manufacturing le leaders here in Beloit, what would that ask be for them? Um, I think the biggest thing would just be the help with materials even. You know what I mean? That's where we always seem to fall short okay. is materials. It's not necessarily a monetary thing, but it's more like, hey, I have you know, 50,000 pounds of scrap that we throw away every year. Well, to us, that's like gold. Right. So that's, that would be one thing from partners or something like that. If, if they have anything they could spare, that would be fantastic. So if you're a manufacturer and you got parts or materials laying around that you have no use for, think about your local education facilities and maybe ask them if that's something they can take off your hands for you because then everybody yes. benefits. Well, Joe, yes. I want to thank you for yes. taking some time out. I know you guys are getting prepped for Skills USA, so good luck yes. to that. Thank I you. hope you guys win. And to all you tuning in, I'm Megan Zimba from MTD CNC. This has been another special school edition for MTD CNC. Take care, y'all. Bye.